Hello there. Today's a different video to what's normally going to be done on the channel. I'm going to talk about what I've picked up from DH Gate. So, let's show you. Well, I'll. Well, alright everybody, it is Jordi Paul here. Welcome back to Magpie Movies, Music and More. Different video today. This is to do around football shirts. Yeah, um, prior to getting into collecting movies, hence the channel, I did collect a lot of football shirts. Primarily, as you can probably guess, to do with my team. Um, one City, One Love, Newcastle. But yeah, I took the uh, dive and delve into DH Gate after driving home one day from playing football and one of my friends there was like oh my missus has just ordered a man city home shirt with john stones five on the back from dh gate they're not too bad actually i was like all oh, right okay so i took the plunge plunge even so before we get into it and i'll show you what i've got uh don't forget to like this video give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and every time i do a new video you'll be the next ones to know so today after about three and a half four weeks i ordered the real madrid home shirt it cost me in total including delivery 12 pound to come from china so let me show you what i got it did come in a plastic bag which i've got which i have got down here he says so it comes in a kind of authentic adidas kind of plastic bag did have the tags on but i took tags off so this is the shirt in question so this is the 23-24 Real Madrid home shirt. So when you get them, uh, to choose them, you can get the size. Now always go size up. This is a 4XL, as you can see in here. But I'm normally 2XL, 3XL, depending on the shirt manufacturer. Um, as you'll see, I'll show you my collection later on. But yes, so this is a 4XL. So it's just about that much, you know, smaller than usual sizes that I get. Um, you can opt to get the Premier League badges on it, but it's Premier League, Champions League badges on it, but I went for the La Liga one. There we go. So, first of all, it feels proper. You get the FIFA World Champions one here, and the Adidas, without the Adidas uh, writing, but the logo. The badge seems fine as well. The sponsors, fine. Even on the bottom, we have the air already on there and then on the back you've got Halle Madrid like the normal ones but then I also opted to get number five Jude Bellingham on it you can see the tail go through it as well all the way through so yeah so look, I'll quickly put it on top of this to show you it's fine comfort wise just like any footy shirt would be and as you can see Oh, he says, get his collar out. There's absolutely no issues with this shirt. You can see he's got bang on the back. So there you go. So if you go to a football match and you want to wear like a t-shirt on underneath it, and you can, I mean, I wouldn't know looking at this that this is a fake. Obviously I do know because I've bought it. Um, but yeah, so there you go. That is the Real Madrid home shirt. If obviously, if, if you're looking to find this let me know and i'll tell you which seller it was and and get in touch so well this, the only thing i did notice with it is on the here on the don't know if you can tell but the don't seem to be like that kind of bends around a bit there it's hard to show you so it's a, but there, that kind of bends up a bit and it's the same on the other side so not exactly three stripes aren't exactly straight if that makes sense but that's the only drawback i can see with it for what it is there you go that is the Real Madrid home shirt from DH Gate. Now, I thought I'd show you my football shirt collection as well. These are all Newcastle Knight ones. We'll go through them. We're in, oh, he says, they're in no particular order. We have this one, which I think is the 2004-05 season, long sleeve. Uh, no name or number on the back. I don't know where I'm going to put all these. Except, oh. 
we have the same shirt, but in short sleeve. No name number on the back of that one. We have the infamous uh, yellow away shirt, which is inside out because I worked for football a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> so this is from the 2009-2010 season, the first time we got relegated into the championship, uh, which then we just breezed and came back straight away and then got relegated later. So there's that one. Remember the first time I wore this was on the friend against Dalton and I went to see it. We won 6-1 I think. So there's that one. We have the Asics home shirt which is signed by Peter Beardsley. Um, this, is one, this is one of my all-time favourite home shirts ever made. No name and number on the back but I just really like that one. You know, the home shirt when we went back into the championship, as you can see, it's got the sky bets on it. And I went and what got Mitrovic 45 on the back of that. And he's also now playing in Abu Dhabi in um, the Saudi League. So there's that one. We then have everyone's favourite, the 94 and 96 uh, Granite Collar shirt. You can see this one's seen better days because it's got Gillespie 18 on the back. Um, but this is all original. This isn't any reprints. I don't wear it now because I don't want it to, um, yeah come apart anymore but that's the original from the older than my kids that and then we have another one of these ones long sleeve of that I don't know why I've got two versions of that we have what I always call the Steve Bruce shirt I don't know this always reminds me of when Steve Bruce was the manager don't ask me why but not because he was I do like this shirt and on the back of this one I've got Sam Maximan who's now obviously no longer with us I've got the Premier League patches on this one so there's that home shirt as well and then this home shirt as well. This is the only shirt I've had in a while that when I got it, I never got any name or number on the back or got any um, Premier League patches or anything on it. So there's that home shirt. And I've got this one, which needs a coat hanger, which when we were in the championship, the white one. And I've got Matt Ritchie on the back of there. Um, the Sky Bet Championship logo on that. Then we have the retro re-release uh, away shirt. I haven't got anything on that one. I just want to keep it as it is. No Premier League badges. Now this is a replica of the 94-96 away shirt or 94-95 away shirt. Oh, random England shirt just thrown in there. And then we're coming up more up to date here. This is the um, limited edition Centennial or whatever the kind of um, fans shirt no sponsor it's got a different collar uh the cuffs have got the stripes on them or hoops on them so there's that one and that is the offset of this shirt which is more or less the same design oh, there we go which is the the takeover shirt it's got bruno on the back of this one so there's that one And I've got two of those, yes, I have got two, but two of those, don't ask me why again. Again, it's got Bruno on the back of that one as well. And then we've got this one. Oh, the only thing I was disappointed with this shirt, I just thought Castor didn't really get any of the sizes right to the most recent one, but I don't have them anymore. This is a shirt that I took to Canada when I went to see Toronto FC. I did put the Premier League badges on it, but that they can see the kind of the bits to see through. Uh, again, this has also got Bruno on the back. Um, I got stopped loads of times when I was at the Toronto FC game when I wore this, uh, asking questions about the team and uh, yeah, so that gives me fond memories of Canada. Then we have the away shirt, which I think you saw a video of me getting done when I got Trippier on the back of this one and then I did the Premier League badges on that one as well. Then we've got the Saudi one as well. Again, you can see, look, they're faded now on there, as you can see. Um, but where this to football, this is the one with the Newcastle match uh, map in the background with St James's Park on here. So that's that one. No name or number on the back of that one. And we come to come up to date, really. This is the one that I got most recently. You might see one of my videos. Um, I printed that on myself because I wanted the Premier League player sizes on them. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get name number on the back of this one. Don't know which one. Probably Joe Linton. So that one's blank on the back. 
and then we're right up to right up to speed now in the current home shirt uh this one i again i bought this put these on myself uh oh i ain't know myself the champions league badge so this is the current home shirt then you have seen on the back no name number this one's going to stay as it is because the champions league shirt i don't want a number in the back of that one so that's it and there you go so that was it that's that's my video really it's just to kind of show off this dh gate shirt um which i'm quite happy with so i'll hopefully wear that the football like this week or next week or whenever it's going to be but yeah thanks very much for watching um if you have had any experience with dh gate football shirts then let me know other than that this is jody paul i survived member of Park movies and it will be doing life it was an attorney how are the lads champions league ready psg tomorrow take care and i'll see you all soon bye for now